finding nominal values and tolerance limits. Tolerance limits are usually given as the maximum limit and the minimum limit. Nominal values are the target values. Other terms such as upper and lower limit may also be used. These limits provide the values that the physical dimensions should not go beyond. The range is the difference between the upper and lower limits or can also be found as two times the uncertainty. Let's have a look at example one. The measurement calls for 8.231 plus or minus 0 0.002. What are the measurements upper and lower limits? What is the nominal value and state the range? So the upper limit is found by adding the 0 0.002 and the lower limit is found by subtracting the 0 0.002 from your 8.231 in each case. So here we get the upper limit as 8.233 and the lower limit as 8.229. Now the nominal value is our target value, so we want to end up with a measurement that is 8.231. And the range, the tolerance range, is going to be the upper minus the lower limit. So we've got those, the max and the min, subtracted, and we end up with 0 0.004. Now, if you remember from the previous page, you can also find the range by multiplying your tolerance by 2. Let's have a look at example 2. What are the maximum and minimum limits of a measurement of 92 inches plus or minus a quarter of an inch? State the nominal value and the range. So the maximum limit is going to be your 92 inches plus a quarter of an inch. That's going to give you 92, 92 and a quarter of an inch. The minimum limit is going to be your 92 inches minus a quarter of an inch. That's going to be 91 and 3 quarters of an inch. So your nominal value is your 92 inches. So that's right here. Okay, in each case, that's what your target measurement you want. And the range is going to be uh, 2 times the plus or minus value right there. So we end up with a half an inch. Example 3. Find the tolerance limits for the length of an item measuring 30.0 plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. So our upper limit is going to be our uh, target value. So our target value is the 30.0 plus the 0.1. We end up with 30.1 millimeters. Our lower limit is our target value, which is the 30, minus our 0.1 which ends up being 29.9 millimeters. And our nominal value, our target measurement, is our 30 millimeters. I should have millimeters there. Now, the range is going to be your max minus your min. All right, and that's going to give you 0 0.02 millimeters, or you can take the tolerance, multiply it by 2, and get the same value. All right, now example four. This, you're asked to find the nominal value. Whoops. Find the nominal value. Here, we'll cross it out. And the tolerance limits for the length of an item if its upper limit is 880 grams and its lower limit is 870 grams. So here you're given a bit of different information and you have to figure out uh, your nominal value and your tolerance limit. So what's the target measurement that we're looking for? Okay, so first let's look at our, our tolerance range. So uh, let's find our upper limit and then find our lower limit and subtract the two from each other. So we get 880 minus 870 and that ends up giving us 10 grams. So here this is our minimum and this is our maximum. 
And if we look at it on a number line, our target measure, we want it to end up being in the middle. Okay, so what value is going to be in the middle of that? So for this one, it's easy to see that it's going to be, uh, if this whole thing is 10, then half of 10 is going to be five. And so we either subtract five from this target measurement or we add five from this target measurement. And in order to get 870, we need to have a target measurement of 875. Okay, so we could look at that on a number line and figure it out for that. But if we don't have values that are easier to work with like that, we simply go the upper limit minus the lower limit. That gives us our 10 grams. Now half of this amount, so divide this by two. So 10 divided by two is five. Now our nominal value is going to be plus or minus half the tolerance range. So to get my max, I added the five to get my min, I subtracted the five from that value, right? So we're working backwards here. So our nominal value will be the upper limit minus our, uh, minus our, this value that we found here. Okay, so the plus or minus the five, we're gonna minus it, the five, to get to our nominal value for this one here, for our upper limit. Now our uh, nominal value, if we have our lower limit, so let's say we only have this number here, uh, we add the range, we add half of the range to that, so that five, and we end up getting our 875 grams. Okay, so either way we calculate it, if we look at it on a number line, if we're using the upper limit, if we're using the lower limit, we can find in all of those cases that our nominal value is 875 grams. Okay, so just make sure you're going in the correct direction to work backwards.